Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. This is uh, most likely going to be the final episode of like the you know the main quest, our trek through the game, because we are about to fight the final boss. So I'm going to put on the King's Ring here and pop this door open, and then we'll put on the silver or cover the silver serpent ring again. And this is the final of the three doors you have to go through after you get the King's Ring that we got for beating Velstat. Uh, you know, first we went through Aldia's Keep to get the Ashen Heart, then we came in here- Oh, actually, I think there's some story beats here. I almost walked right past. Hang on. Oh, the hood's My coming off. My is already complete. My name is Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with a nun. I was born of dragons, contrived by men by ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me. But they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be best, and men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire, she covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nishandra to rest. So, uh, the, it's heavily implied, I think, that Shanelot was created by uh, the experiments of Aldia and Vendrick. Vendrick having been said to have peered further into the soul than anyone else, or something to that effect. I forget the exact phrasing. So they experimented by like mixing dragon magic and souls and shit together and made Shanelot, who I'm, I think they were trying to make a fire keeper with so they could sustain the first flame because I think they learned that there's this cycle going on where the first flame goes out, people start going hollow, you got zombies everywhere, it's just a bad time for any kingdom. Let me go ahead and pop a... hmm. Let's uh... There we go. That was weird. Anyway, we'll use a humanity effigy regardless so that we can go human and see summon signs here. There are a couple of NPCs who are fine. You know, it would be more fun. Hey, here we go. To get some actual humans in for the uh, for the ride, but we can totally do it with uh, the NPCs as well. But it looks like that might be the only human around, so we'll get... Uh, let's get Vengarl. I prefer that guy. Vengarl is a pretty cool dude. Hello, Queen. How are you doing? I almost forgot this is like an actual human who I should like wave to and acknowledge instead of an NPC. But anyway, let's go ahead and actually resonant weapon up here. And then we're going to be fighting a couple of bosses in a row. So anyway, I think they learned that uh, this cycle is going on of like death and rebirth of the first flame and they tried to uh, make a fire keeper who would like artificially sacrifice herself probably to keep the first flame alight which was an interesting uh, an interesting idea but apparently it did not work so now she's looking for somebody else to link the flame for her because she can't do it uh oh this uh, things are getting a little scarier I don't know why both of them keep on going after me I uh, like it if that would stop. But anyway, these uh, these guys are the Throne Watcher and the Throne Defender, as you might be able to tell by like the bottom of the screen here. Uh, they are uh, they're a cool boss. Uh, you know, there's two of them. Obviously, they can also make lightning like so on their swords. And if you kill one of them uh, and give the other one too much time, then they will um, they will heal each other. So, uh oh well. That might have not been very well uh, considered by Queen, but that's okay. If we just burst her down, perfect. They're both going to die, but you got to be careful with that because they can totally resurrect each other and uh, make problems for you. But anyway, that is the end of that, and I think I have to like walk over here to spawn the next boss. Maybe, or maybe it just happens. Grave undead. You have proven yourself to me. So here's Nishandra's true form. Stuff like this is always really weird to me. Like, 
she would just change from this lady into this weird, like, Grave Lord Nito esque thing. I, it strikes me as more symbolic than real, in a way, you know? It's just like, oh, it's this super evil lady. Now she's made out of bones and stuff, but whatever. This is a, you know, all things considered a fairly easy boss fight, but you can no. fuck it up pretty easily. Because she makes these little things that will curse you, and um, very quickly turn you hollow, which can be an issue. But I'm just going to Great Resonant Soul her down. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I, I almost forgot that she was going to cast this spell first. I thought she was going to... Oh, God! Get out of the... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't notice in time that I had to be a little careful. That head of Vengarl is taking a lot of damage. He's usually pretty tanky. Anyway, we just got to stay away from those black things. We should be totally fine. We've turned a little bit hollow from them, but just a little bit. Head of Vengarl is in a little bit of trouble, but uh, he did his job. He gave us some space to... Uh, injure this lady. She's gonna miss me with that. I'm still- oh god! J Phantom Queen just allowed herself to get killed, so I guess I'm soloing this. Uh, which could be, you know, a little bit tricky, but not really. Uh, we just have to make sure to stay away from those thingies. And we'll be alright. Watch out for the laser- oh god, I was gonna roll through the- oh man! You stunlocked me. There was, like, literally nothing I could do once that hit me. I rolled, you know, a split second too late. I was already in the roll animation, but it was too late. I got knocked out of it. Well, that's shitty. Alright. Shit happened. So, anyway, the Throne Watchers are gonna stay dead. We just have to go back down and kill Nishandra. That really actually pisses me off that that happened. That was such a silly way to die. Just totally stunlocked from, if not full HP, then pretty near, I think. And we'll have to blow another fucking humanity effigy on that. We could also try to get summoned for somebody else, but, you know, stuff happens. By the way, that's not what happened to Queen, if you're, like, saying, oh, you shit on Queen and then get killed by the same attack. She got killed by the sweeping attack, which is A, a lot easier to, to dodge, and B, can only hit once. I got hit by, like, the straight laser that uh, if you get hit once by it, you get stunlocked until you're dead, basically. That is a one-shot kill on basically anybody, I think. Yeah, if it hits you early. Because you're just not going to be able to move. If you get lucky, it'll knock you out of the laser and you won't get stunlocked by it. But if it does just hit you three times, I don't... I doubt that it's possible to have enough health and resistance to survive that. It might be possible. I don't know. If you have, like, 99 vigor and some much better armor that has some dark resist, but... I don't know. I kind of doubt it. So, yeah. I can't summon again because we... Well, I was going to say because we got cursed, but also just because we died. So let's pop one more Humanity Effigy so that we can get uh, the NPCs in here. And they can tank it up for us while we kill the boss. I'm not going to bother waiting for another human. We'll just take the two NPCs. That's probably more fair anyway. We'll go ahead and fight Nishandra. That is like the one attack, by the way. I know I was shitting on her saying she's not very hard. The one attack that is actually a problem from this boss. Whoa, that only did 22 damage. What the fuck? What? From Great Resident Soul? Something is wrong. What am I doing wrong here? That makes no sense at all. Did they buff her, like, magic resist? Or did they nerf Great Resident Soul while I was gone? What is going on here? 30 damage. What the fuck? I'm really concerned about this. Uh, I guess we need to resident weapon it up and melee her. No wonder she didn't die last time. I was thinking she was surviving a long time. That is super fucking weird. Okay, well, we'll just get close and try to avoid these cursey things. Well, we didn't do a very good job of that. Get away from it. How am I not... How am I not away from these things? Alright, well, I'll just get one shot. I don't know, guys. I just don't know. I was gonna attack one of them to get rid of it, but I just got hit in the back because my phantoms were doing nothing. If my curses just straight up don't work on her anymore, I don't know what to do about that. Did something break? Nothing is broken. Let me just see if my curses are working on other things. That is so strange. I'm just gonna bring one of these guys to life. 102. Oh, I'm out of. S okay, I'm so fucking stupid. I can't. I can't even fathom 
how I didn't realize what was going on. I thought I had picked up my bloodstain. Apparently I'm just crazy and did not pick up my bloodstain. We're going to use a soul of a great hero for 20,000 souls so that we have some souls to cast spells with. God, I'm such an idiot. Uh, produce the symbol of the kings here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's late at night, I'm very tired, but I wanted to get this done because I missed my upload yesterday because I just did not have time to do it. Good lost, uh, lost my focus on the window, but it was while I was waiting for this door to open, so no big deal. I can't believe I didn't pick up my bloodstain. That's why, like, it didn't even occur to me that I might not have souls because I was so sure that I picked up my bloodstain with, like, thousands of souls from the Throne Watchers. How could I have let that not happen? People must be mad. This is the biggest fail I've had in this entire Let's Play, by far. Not even a contest. Ah, oh, well. Running, running, running. Alright, so we're going to come over here, we're going to summon our two buddies again, and this time we're going to kill the boss no problem. It's a lot easier the second time around because you don't use up all of your spell casts and Estus on the Watchers, and more importantly, your phantoms don't fucking die <laughs> before, uh, before Nishandra. So this should be very easy now that my spells are doing damage. I was so fucking confused about how I was doing like 20 damage to her because the, these things consume souls and if you don't have souls then they do nothing basically. Yeah, that's a lot better. 257 a cast. Oh, get away from the thing. How is that still fucking hitting me? I think they buffed Nishandra as well because those things did not used to hit from that distance. It seems like it might be nearly impossible to melee her now, which is what I tried to do. Like I mailed her, meleeed her my first time it was no problem. The strategy was basically like get super close to her and those things can't possibly hurt you. This time I tried that and it just totally fucked me up. Anyway, let's burst her down. She's not focusing me so I can free cast basically. We need to get some stamina back though. It's a very good change I think by the way from Dark Souls 1. That spells now require stamina. That makes uh, spell casting a lot more balanced, especially in PvP. Um, that you you can't just cast forever and not ever have to stop. Okay, watch out for the crazy beam. Oh, she's just making more things, I guess. Weird. Anyway, uh oh, getting cursed, but we're fine. And that'll be Nishandra finally dead. Oh god, nope. Get away from the curse things. Fuck! I can't get away from the curse things. Go! They were everywhere. Yeah, they definitely, definitely buffed this boss since the last time I fought her, which is weird. I had no idea there had been an update. But I haven't actually fought this boss in quite a while. But anyway, there we go. That's Nishandra finally dead. We'll pick up our zero souls over here from our bloodstain. Pisses me off that uh, I missed the souls from the... Uh, Throne Watcher and Defender basically because I'm a huge idiot, but uh, anyway, that's the end of that. Let's go ahead and watch the final cutscene. I love the way this looks, by the way, with the Jester costume. costume. There's one shot that looks so good with that mask. You who link the fire, you who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this.
great sovereign, take your throne. Look at how fucking smug he looks. Mask is so good. What lies ahead, only you can see. So that's Dark Souls 2. Um, I believe that the Throne of Want is like on the site of the Kiln of the First Flame from the first game. And we go in there and it's implied that we have a choice between linking the fire and not linking the fire. But it's much more clear now, I think, that whether we link the fire or not, somebody's going to come and link that fire. Because undead are just strangely drawn to it. You know, the people cursed with the... Uh, the undead curse w are drawn to Drang Lake, just go crazy, and all they can think about is going there. They jump into that whirlpool, they end up in Drang Lake, or, you know, whatever it's called at the time, Lordrin maybe, and, um, you know, search for the first flame so that they can, um, you know, link it using their own body and, you know, end the Age of Dark for a time and, you know, bring back the first flame so that people stop going undead. And so the undead are kind of this self-regulating cycle where, you know, the after a certain period of time, the first flame fades, the undead come back, and then the undead eventually will come back, find a way, you know, collect the great souls, and play out that whole thing again, you know, kill, kill the lords, go to the uh, throne of want, or the killing of the first flame, or whatever it's called in that age, and lick the fire again. Which is a really interesting uh, story. I like it a lot. Anyway, I apologize for my horrible play in this episode. And uh, I'm going to let the credits run. And then uh, come back next time. Because I think we will uh, we will be doing some PvP next time. I, will, I have to plan exactly what I want to do. It's possible. Actually, let me know what kind of PvP you would like to see. We could do the Rat Covenant. Though I might be too high level for that. But we can try it anyway. Or we could do uh, Blood Brother dueling or uh, Red Sign Soapstone dueling, both of which would require us going to the... What is that place called? The um, Undead Purgatory. Or we could do the Dragon Bros. Or we could do more Bell Bro invasions. Or we could join the Blue Sentinels and do uh, dueling there. Though I feel like the Blue Sentinels dueling is just worse than doing the Blood Bro dueling because it costs... Um, tokens of fidelity there so we would have to you know kind of intersperse it with co-op and that would also get our soul memory real high real fast and that would very quickly kind of eliminate options elsewhere so let me know what kind of pvp you guys would like to see and what areas that i skipped that you might like to uh see us run through i might be kind of over leveled for a lot of them at this point but we can still go back and check them out you know if you want to see like, um, what is that place called? I don't know, Pirate Land, forget the name of that. And, um, what else did we skip? We never fought the Bell Gargoyles. We never went through Belfry Soul, though that's really short. And, I don't know, I'm sure there's a number of places. We never went through either of the, um, the rat areas, which is where we would have to go for the rat PvP, which is a lot of fun. That's maybe my favorite PvP. Though it is a little bit time-consuming to find people I've found for that. It actually has an invasion cooldown, unlike the Bell Bros. So anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see. I'm far from done from with Dark Souls 2, especially since they've just announced DLC for it, which I will also certainly be covering when that comes out. So, you know, let me know what you guys want to see, and I'm going to let the credits run, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with, uh, well, maybe tomorrow with more Dark Souls. I might, also, I need to cover a few games... Uh, first look style as well, so I don't want to promise anything tomorrow, but I'll see you guys next time on the Dark Souls 2 series.